respected co-founder and senior vice president mrs elsma thomas president mr jacob thomas principal mrs sheila alexander members of the academic council teachers fellow members of the prefix council and my dear friends we have gathered here today to commemorate the 45th inception day of good shepherd international school without further ado i would like to call upon our school head girl mangalam karpaya to lead us in the short school prayer oh dear good shepherd my guide and my light be with me always day and night teach me to do what's good and right and always keep me within thy sight amen i now invite the school choir to lead us in the school song hail good shepherd and the school prayer song the lord's my shepherd the school song hail good shepherd
Pramukh Prashant of Grade Five leading us in the school prayer. Join your hands, close your eyes, and please bow your heads. Let us pray. O oh dear Good Shepherd, make our school a home away from our home. Make us always feel that we all belong to a family, and that the teachers are like our parents. We believe that you speak through them when we listen to them. Give more wisdom to all concerned with us, so that they may guide us always on the right path. Make us know your presence and power by rewarding and punishing us. Let us not become proud when we are rewarded, and let us not become humiliated when you punish us for our mistakes. Give us enough strength to forget and forgive as you forgive us our sins. We thank you for the showers of blessings on this school for its growth and progress into a big and a good school. Give us everything to make our lives in this school a happy one. This we ask for your love's sake. Amen. Thank you, Pramukh. I would now like to invite Darpati Meghna of Grade Eight to give her speech. It's my pleasure to start this auspicious occasion by heartily welcoming everybody. I'm Meghna. I joined GSI in Grade One. It is overwhelming for me to count eight years from joining the school. The speech aims to formally welcome all the students back to school, as well as set the tone for the rest of the school days. What a journey it has been, with each year having its own triumphs and struggles, and yet unique in many ways. After joining the school, I have learned many lessons. One of the greatest lessons I have learned is that our greatness increases as we recognize the greatness of others. Good Shepherd International School began its journey in 1977, which in 1995 became a world-class international educational institute. This school was the brainchild of Dr. P. C. Thomas, whose ideals have guided in this growth of this institution and continues to motivate us to make the GSIS banner fly high. GSIS nurtures us to become independent and capable individuals. When I joined in grade one, I was the only girl with nine boys in my classroom. It took several days for me to mingle with others and the new atmosphere and culture, which was totally different from what I was accustomed to. The teachers gave me a lot of hope and support. I learned that teachers transfer their knowledge in most innovative ways. They care about students' progress and track their academic achievements regularly, which kept me on my toes and helped me grow from a sapling to a sturdy plant. The school has encouraged many more students like me to pursue an active lifestyle and has provided the latest facilities for all sports and games to cater to our social, physical, and emotional growth. Good Shepherd International School celebrates the culture of excellence and is an embodiment of values. They prepare students to be global citizens. This holistic development gives us the vigor to face the challenges of the 21st century with confidence and the strength of character. I'm someone who was bloomed from a bud to a bright and a strong flower. I have received loads of love, strength, and courage to face everything in life. I have been appreciated many times with the latest responsibilities. I have participated and received 15 championships from grade one till grade eight. I received my first championship in grade one, which became my motivation to move ahead with determination. For many, school is the student's first real step towards a life in a college or a university. Good Shepherd International School ensures that every child has a solid foundation, as well as the knowledge and skills to shape their own future and take the world in our stride. Thank you. Thank you, Meghna. There will now be a presentation of a musical ensemble. Thanks for what thou dost 
Thank you for that melodious performance. Now Bhavya of Great Ten will be giving a speech. A month of puzzling days, tense thinking and final conclusion. I was being sent to a new school. Eight years back, I walked through the doors of the Fernhill campus, unsure of everything around me. I was greeted by teachers, dorm parents, and my friends, and immediately felt a spark of connection, knowing that I have come to the right place. Good evening, respected dignitaries, teachers, and my dear friends. Life in my old school wasn't that great. I did have a lot of friends, but I was very awkward and lacked the essential attributes that were required for my age. My parents saw it the best to change my school for my future. While scouting for a new school, one of my father's friends, who was very well acquainted with the school, shared his thoughts on the topic. After knowing about the school and what is and what it offers, my parents thought about it and found this school the best one for my growth. When my parents parted for me for the first time, it was indeed an emotional experience. If I remember correctly, I was left in the cricket ground before entering the dormitories. The first few days at school was pretty much a whirlwind of overwhelming sadness. In under two months of GSS exposure, eight years old me, who couldn't even tie his shoelace properly and would instead prefer adjusting it in the sides, now learnt how to not only knot his tie but also learnt how to make his bed. This school has shaped my life. It has taught me how to carry myself. It has taught me my etiquettes. It has taught me how to live life. The school has been continuously giving me new experiences in the co-curricular fields, be it music or sports. Through this school, I have acquired my knowledge of the world. I have met my lifelong friends, and it has given me a strong foundation for life. I learnt a lot of sports and performed better academically as well. Overall, I can positively say that. Coming to this school has made me a better person. Now, everywhere I go, I carry on a confident demeanor, and I am able to handle unexpected situations very well. To everyone in this school, I would like to say thank you for making me who I am today. Each one of you has been a part in my journey. Every day at GSIS has been a new learning experience for me, whether be it in the dorm, in the block, or on the field. A last piece of advice to all of you would be to make sure you are around when other people need someone to lean on, because it may not be a huge effort for you, but may mean a lot to the others. Thank you. Thank you, Bhavya. I now request the co-founder and senior vice president, Mrs. Elsma Thomas, to address the gathering. Good evening, everyone. Forty-four years back. On twenty-first February, nineteen seventy-seven, Colonel Cutcar, Commandant of MRC Wellington, inaugurated the Good Shepherd Public School, and said, and I quote: "I have no doubt that under the dynamic leadership of Mr. Thomas, as the principal and founder of the school, this institution will go from peak to peak." with a torch that is on its crest and the motto of the school truth trust and triumph and i unquote reverend father monsignor siria kunath blessed the event at the gathering on an auspicious note he planted a sapling symbolic of education to grow into a big tree that was the first day children sang the school song which was tuned by mrs matthews a renowned pianist in the town thus dr thomas and i started off good shepherd public school with 12 staff members and a few workers the journey of good shepherd international school started off in 2 years time we had exceeded the student strength from 54 to 
we started the regular morning activities assemblies breakfast classes and so on very soon we had to shift the school to dilkush bangalore which was run as a primary school due to space constraints after this summer vacation the whole school fell ill with chicken pox it was a hard time to manage as a mother i learned a lot during those days we did not have proper, proper infirmary or doctors in 1980 we got the affiliation to the council for the indian school certificate examinations mr m a chidambaram a well-wisher from chennai intervened and got us the baroda palace overlooking the lake this palace was neglected for almost 30 years 3 decades but to our surprise we had already made our calculations and plans lot of hard work no engineers no architects only a few workers and both of us we worked for a whole year remodeling the palace and we were ready for inauguration the then collector of nilgiris mr dharmarajan inaugurated the campus again ms monsignor sriya kunath bless the premises every year october 15th is celebrated as founders day which is the birthday of our dear founder earlier days we used to have the programs at the anna stadium which is near government arts college uti later we built our own auditorium and started having the functions in the school itself by then we had a number of staff helping in the academics front and co-curricular activities to name a few we had senior people like mr george aip mr george abraham mr victor selvin as headmasters now everybody knows mrs sheila alexander is the principal of the school kushalapa was one of our old students and the one who joined us in the beginning he joined us with his twin sisters mutama and ponnama those are the unforgettable days for me he is instrumental in performing the back to roots in the school in my memory we were the first school to start having counselors for the students anila and kalyan joined us about 28 years back and they are an asset to the school miss anila is currently the director of counseling and mr kalyan is the high school coordinator we also picked up senior teachers mr suresh and mrs deepa as coordinators there are also so many feathers in the cap like mr alexander mr dominic and mrs manju as an educationist sir could not stop spreading education to the outside world hence he started the cambridge igcse stream and ibdp stream In the year 1996 we moved to Palada campus for grades 
one to six, and from the year two thousand four, we made it our main school. Thus, we became an international school. Throughout, Dr. Thomas wanted to keep discipline as the criteria. Giving individual attention is a special feature of our school. The school received many national and international awards, for which Arc of Europe Gold Star Award is the most prestigious one. In 2020, Dr. Thomas breathed his last on June 16th. I was lost for a moment. To my solace, my son Jacob Thomas, who was in the States, returned to India to take over Daddy's place. Today, I am proud to say that he is the president of Good Shepherd International School, and I am sure he has taken the mantle to keep up his father's legacy. Thank you. Thank you for those inspirational words, ma'am. The outgoing vice head girl Eve Saha is now going to deliver her speech. Good evening, senior vice president Mrs. Elsima Thomas, president Mr. Jacob Thomas, principal Mrs. Sheila Alexander, academic council members, parents, staff, and students. I welcome you all to the inception ceremony held at the Good Shepherd International School. The fact which I hold closest to my heart is that I have been under the Good Shepherd roof for 12 crucial years of my life, and I'm proud of it. I'm grateful to be a part of this glorious family, and more so to get an opportunity to share my experiences and acknowledge the milestone achieved by the school over the course of 44 years. I remember receiving letters from my brother once in a while. I was intrigued by my brother's whereabouts and his lifestyle. I was seven years old, and the only thing I wanted the most at that time was to be a part of my brother's life. And the only way I could have achieved it was by moving thousands of miles away from my home, only to find another home. This is when I joined the Good Shepherd International School. My brother was in grade six by then. By fate. The very next year, my brother had to go to the Palada campus, whereas I would still be in the Fernal campus. I did feel lonely, but the emptiness in my heart was filled by the environment in Fernal, which surrounded me and kept me safe. I may not remember the exact details of the first time I joined the campus or the first time I met my friends or teachers, but what I do remember is the feeling of warmth. And belonging, I first experienced when I first stepped inside the realms of this great institute. We had a common dining hall in the Fernal campus. As little ones, we always had our food provided on the table for us. Our dining hall music did not know any musician except the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. Throughout our dance classes, we used to learn folk dance from various states. During the weekends. Everyone used to write letters to our parents and siblings. Every Sunday, we used to chant mantras and listen listen to stories from Hindu mythology, such as the Ramayana. What ma- what made Sunday even more special was the fact that we got to wear our color clothes. Good Shepherd International School has a robust co-curricular program, and I immersed myself in many activities as I could. I first started learning the basketball game. We had a small swimming pool where I first learned to swim. During activity time, we divided into groups. We were divided into groups where each group had a game they had to learn for two weeks. This gave us the opportunity to go out of our comfort zone and try several new things. When I finally reached grade seven. I moved to the Palada campus and was in close proximity with my brother. As fate would have had it, he graduated the very next year. The only difference was that 
I had developed the skill of being independent by then. High school was the time when I first had my first board examination. I still remember those stressful nights before the final exams. During those years, I met some amazing people and I can proudly call them my friends for the rest of my life. I have witnessed the school grow into a very prosperous place for today's youth, forever changing and molding itself into the requirements of today's time. I had a variety of experiences in this school. These experiences at GSIS have taught me valuable lessons about camaraderie and resilience. It's a fact that I've spent more time here at school than at my own home. And my life here has shaped, in, shaped me into the individual I am today. Thank you. Thank you for your delightful speech, Eve. We now have the address by our president, Mr. Jacob Thomas. All great things have humble beginnings. And as a young man, my father had a dream to establish a school that provided everything that he dreamed of as a child himself. That yearning and drive and the steadfast partnership of my mother, Elsuma Thomas, set the course for what is today the Good Shepherd International School, an institution that has been home to thousands of children and hundreds of staff members over the past 44 years. There are so many who have toiled alongside both my father and mother to create this great institution, and we are forever grateful to their commitment, dedication, and service to education. Both my parents began their lives as teachers, and there is no greater gift you can share than the gift of knowledge. When I look back at my own life, I can count all the people that made an impression and taught me how to think and learn to be curious. They were all teachers. Boldness, perfection, fortitude, perseverance, discipline, courage, and above all, conviction. These are the words that come to my mind when I want to describe my father, who has made an indelible mark on this world and so many lives. As a young man, when my father set out to accomplish his life's dreams, he was obsessed, single-minded, and uncompromising in his approach to education. He strived for perfection in everything that he undertook. His ambition and drive were unparalleled eclipsed only by his determination, grit, and hard work. He was truly an inspiration and motivated our youth to aspire for greatness in their own lives. And through it all, he had my mother's unrelenting and unwavering love and support. If my father was the head of the institution, my mother was its backbone. For without one, the other cannot stand. This incredible institution that, they, that he created along with my mother is a testament to his vision and their strong partnership. They have nurtured every aspect of the school and committed their lives to furthering the cause of, edu of a world-class education. He was truly a visionary and an icon in the field of education. We are all dreamers, you and I, but it takes real action to realize one's dreams and to fulfill our true potential. All great achievement begins as a dream. And I'm sure you will agree that an achievement of this, of this magnitude in a single lifetime is that of a great man. We want GSIS to be a place where dreamers are made and where dreamers are learned to realize their dreams. I'm incredibly honored to lead GSIS and to continue the growth and progress of the school and to make it relevant in the current era and beyond. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for those encouraging words. We will now head towards a musical performance by the acoustic band. Such a feeling's coming over me. There is wonder in most everything I see. Especially for me I 
so much for that the journey of our school has been a very memorable one and to showcase the same we now have a video presentation when i was growing up as an young boy of 14 15 i decided i would start a school where a child could get whatever he wanted Seventy-seven. Um, when we, the day one, we had fifty-four students. I was very happy. I was very confident. Fifty-four was a good number, and we would start growing. No child is unhappy. It gives a great satisfaction. So everything is possible if you have a mind to do it and you do the planning. Well, we uh, give a lot of emphasis on a home away from home. I was very sure and I was very confident that I would make uh, the school uh, into converted into one of the best schools in the country and for that matter in the whole world. Well, that indeed took me down memory lane and gave me a lot of insight into our school. The expression of gratitude will be given by the middle school coordinator, Mrs. Deepa Suresh. Having worked in the school as a teacher and coordinator for 24 years, having been part of its growth, I consider it a great privilege to have been chosen to express our gratitude to all involved. in the tremendous growth of the school from a small establishment in mobray house to a 100 acre international school with accreditations from reputed bodies and affiliated to national and international boards without losing touch with its indian roots today is a day not only to celebrate our history but also to forge ahead 
realizing that we are standing on the shoulders of giants. It is these giants that I would like to primarily remember and express my gratitude on this auspicious day. Needless to say, the person to be thanked first is late Dr. P.C. Thomas himself, who planned every stone in the structures, every blade of grass growing in the gardens, every droplet of water used in the school, and every lesson learnt by all the members of the family that is Good Shepherd International School. Bereft though we are of his physical presence and guidance, we are grateful for him for having shared his vision at every step of our journey. There's no less gratitude felt for our madam, Mrs. Elsama Thomas, who accompanied Sir every step of the way. The mother in her reaches out to every member of the Good Shepherd family, ensuring that every aspect is taken care of meticulously. Among those who I remember with gratitude are people like Mrs. Solomons and late Mrs. Chowdhury, who contributed a great deal in the growth of the school. All who came under her tutelage in the primary school remembers Mrs. Solomons with fondness. Those who have worked in GSIS will ever be grateful to late Mr. Victor Selwyn, who, as English teacher, housemaster, and finally the headmaster, preached loyalty by practicing it. During his tenure at school, all the international examinations got underway, starting from IGCSE, AIC to IB, creating milestones for the school to cross. I thank the members of the Academic Council and the senior management team who have for long worked together through thick and thin, ensuring the smooth functioning of the school. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the teachers who have been involved, not only in the teaching and learning process, but also in mentoring and providing pastoral care to the students interested to their alma mater. Most importantly, I would like to thank the parents, guardians and well-wishers of the school for the immense trust vested in the GSIS family. At this juncture, I would like to extend my gratitude to each and every member who has contributed to the growth of the institution. Shepherdians of the present and the past, it is because of you that the school has reached the pinnacle of success. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank the speakers of the day, Meghna, Bhavya Saravgi, Eve Saha, our dear madam, and Mr. Jacob for sharing their experiences. My heartfelt gratitude to the music department and people behind the presentation. A big thank you to all of you. Last but not the least, as I fondly remember our principal saying, we are instruments in the hands of the Good Shepherd and there's no limit to the gratitude felt for the countless blessings that he has showered on all of us and on the school. We continue to seek his blessings for the years ahead. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, ma'am. The vocal ensemble will now present to us the hymn, Shards of Blessings. Showers of blessing This is the 
We now have the school anthem, O Brightest Light, led by the school choir. Sing your praise with grace. 